بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو ہاؤ ٹو ڈیل ود ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچن ویئر آؤٹ آف فائیو آپشن یو ہیو ٹو سلیکٹ ٹو آپشن اینڈ یوزلی دیر آر فور کوشچن لائک دس ان آئلس لسننگ پارٹ ٹو لائک کوشچن سکسٹین ٹو ٹوینٹی اینی ویز ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچن ہیز ٹو پارٹس ون از کوشچن اسٹیٹمنٹ and one is options so let's read the question statement question 17 and 18 which two things does the speaker say about the attraction called musical favorites there are two things that speaker is going to say about the attraction which is called musical favorites and we are going to see what are the two things now let me tell you there are five options about two options he will speak positively about other three options he will speak opposite he will speak opposite okay i tell you how for example a you pay extra for drinks now if in the audio they say you have to pay a little charge or you have to pay some charges for the drinks then a is the right answer but if they say drinks are absolutely free of cost so pay extra for drinks and drinks are free of cost these are two opposite phrases so you just need to listen to the opposite phrase where they speak opposite oppositely those are not the right answers those are just the traps you need to cross those options option b you must book in advance so for that they can say advanced booking you must reserve a seat beforehand or they can say no good leaving it until last minute It is no good leaving it until last minute. Book your seat in advance. Reserve your place uh, beforehand or anything like that. And if they say you don't need advance booking, it's first come and first served, first come first serve basis. So then it's going to be actually not the right answer. See, opposite means trap. And if they speak exactly the same, that means the right answer. Option C: You get a reduction if you buy two tickets. So if they talk about two tickets, 10% discount, if you buy two tickets, 20% discount, 15% discount, then this option is right. And if they don't say anything, if they say, okay, the price is same, whether you buy one ticket or 10, okay, or if they don't even mention if you buy two tickets, then you get any discount, then this is not the right option, okay. After this, uh, option D, you can meet the performers now actually it's a musical favorite so performers are the musicians all the people who are going to play music they are the performers so you can meet the performers for that they can say chance to chat with the cast or chance to chat with the performers or with the musicians or with the singers or with orchestra players and all that anything like that and option e you can take part in the show If they say you can also participate, you can be the part of the show, then it is the right answer. If they say, uh, well, uh, you cannot participate or you cannot be the part of it, but you may enjoy it by watching. So it's not that. Again, I tell you the option which is ignored, that is out of question. The option which is spoken of oppositely, that is out of question as well. So you will just focus. And by the way, they will speak about all these five options in any order. There isn't any proper order like they will start from A, then B, then C. That makes it more confusing. Only if these options are in order, then you can easily find tick or cross and you can find the right answers. So the first thing is you need to go to that option which is being discussed. Let's go on questions 19 and 20. Which two things does the speaker say about the castle feast? Now, the second option is castle feast. And about castle feast, speakers say two things. Which two things does he say? Again, the same rule, same principle. Option A, visitors can dance after the meal. So for that, they can use watch and join the dance after your dinner. If they say like that, then it is the right answer. If they say uh, visitors can only watch the dance after meal and they don't mention anything about joining, so then this is a trap. Option B, there is a choice of food. If they say we have a variety of food, then this is the right answer. If they say we only offer sandwiches, 
then this is not the right answer because there is a choice of food. Sandwiches is no choice. Okay. So if you say uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, you know, in, uh, uh, okay, in our local language, say uh, what is for dinner and they say food, only food or bread like that. Okay. Visitors wear historical costume. Now, if visitors wear historical costume, then this is the right option. If the people who are serving, they wear historical costume, not the visitors, then it's a trap. Usually these options are traps. Okay, because how visitors can spend a lot of money and wear the historical costumes. So the people who are serving, they must be wearing that. So again, be careful. Option D, knives and forks are not used. Now for knives and forks are not used, they can use the word you have to eat it with your hands. Exactly when you're not using knives and forks and spoons and all that, that means you're going to eat with your hands. So they, they'll say like uh, you, you will use your hands instead of cutlery. Knives and forks, actually the word for that is cutlery. So they, they might use that word. Option E, the entertainment includes horse races. Now they will talk about horses, but you have to see do they talk about horse races? The entertainment includes. Now, if they say uh, there is a game in the entertainment where we've got horse riders and they have to knock off their horses or they have to knock off other people from their horses. For example, like that. That doesn't mean horse race. So it's just not that you listen to the word horse and you think E is the right answer. If they talk about horse race, then this is the answer. If they talk about any other game that involves horse, for example, like uh, polo. Polo is a game, but polo is not horse racing. So you just need to listen carefully and see. Now on a piece of paper, please write 17 and 18, 19 and 20. Now I will play the audio, listen to the audio, write your answers down. At the end, I will give you the answers, check your answers and comment this video that out of four answers, how many answers are correct. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Let's take a start. Cheers. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. So, there's plenty to do in the daytime, but what about nightlife? Well, the number one attraction's called Musical Favourites. Guests enjoy a three-course meal and unlimited free drinks, and watch a fantastic show, starting with musicals set in Paris, and then crossing the Atlantic to Las Vegas, and finally Copacabana. At the end, the cast members come down from the stage, still in their stunning costumes, and you'll have a chance to chat with them. It's hugely popular, so let me know now if you're interested, because it's no good leaving it until the last minute. It's on Friday night. Tickets are just 50 euros each, but for an extra 10 euros, you can have a table right by the stage. If you'd like to go back in time, there's the Castle Feast on Saturday evening. It's held in a 12th century castle, and you eat in the great courtyard, with ladies in long gowns serving your food. You're given a whole chicken each, which you eat in the medieval way, using your hands instead of cutlery. And you're entertained by competitions where the horseback riders attempt to knock one another off their horses. Then you can watch the dancers in the ballroom and join in as well if you want. OK, so now if anyone has... That is the end of Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers.